Today I'm going to be telling you and showing you how to make a switch code. So first let's go into the basic drawer and pull out a forever block and put it at the top of our workspace. Then we need to go into variables and make a variable that we're going to call switch and click OK. Now we need to get the button that says set switch to zero so we can tell the micro bit what the switch actually is doing. We go down into pens and we're going to find the button that says digital read pen zero. We're going to put that in the button where there is a zero and we're going to change pen zero to pen one because pen zero is for our speakers. Next, we're going to go into logic and pull out an if true then else button and connect it. Inside where it says true, we need to go back to logic and put zero equals zero where it says true in the if then button. We need to tell the micro bit that if the switch equals one, which means the switch is connected, then everything looks good. So we're gonna go into the basic drawer and pull out the show icon button and we're gonna change that heart to a check mark to show that the switch is good, it is connected. Next, we're gonna go into the basic drawer and we're gonna pull out another show icon button and we're gonna change the heart to an X because if the switch is not equal to one, it is off and we need the X and we're gonna add a sound that's gonna play when the switch comes apart. So I pull out the middle C button for one beat and I'm gonna change it to make a higher pitched sound. That, my friends, is how we create a code on the micro bit that sets a switch alarm to go off when the foil comes apart.